right, gonna try something a little different today. Gonna talk about moisture content in wood. Um, this is really geared uh, for new woodworkers or maybe uh, a woodworker who just never really kind of explored, uh, you know, wood movement and moisture content. Reason why this is so important is if you're gonna build anything, whether it's like beautiful hardwoods or, you know, maybe some slabs or even construction grade, just two by fours, um, you wanna make sure the wood is dry. Uh, if it's not dry, right, we know wood moves and humidity levels change, but if it hasn't gotten to its first, you know, equilibrium uh, for, for your space, then it's going to fail on you at some point. So early on, uh, I got myself a moisture meter. So I uh, bought this one about three years ago, doctor meter, moisture meter, and you just, you just stick the prongs in and it gives you a reading what is the percentage of moisture content. Um, that just is a number to start with. Now, obviously, there's a lot of different species. There are so many variables. Uh, with all of these units, uh, Dr. Meter sent me some of their new ones to test out. I'll, I'll talk about those in a second. But with any of them, um, you know, it's going to give you a number. Well, what does that number mean? Um, honestly, what you care about is it, it's just your initial reading, right? So for me, like, let's use a 2x4 as an example. I go to Home Depot, I buy a 2x4, it's pretty wet uh, because even though it looks dry, it's still got a high moisture content. So maybe it's like 20%. Uh, and then I let it sit in my garage for about a week maybe two weeks, then I take another reading. All right, down to 15%. And over time, that number is gonna go down and you wanna just keep checking, keep checking. And once that number doesn't change, once it's not fluctuating, that's a that's a pretty good indicator that that wood is ready. Um, yes, there are you know other, other steps, other variables, but that gives you a pretty good idea. Uh, in general, if you're gonna build anything out of, you know, pallet wood, fence boards, uh, two by fours, you definitely want that to acclimate in your shop, in your garage for a while, uh, make sure it's dry. Uh, but to, really the best way to be sure that you know it's dry and it's ready to be used for furniture uh, is a moisture meter. All right, so talked about this one, right, with the, the two prongs. So uh, Dr. Meter does have a new one. They, they sent this to me to test out. Pretty cool, still has the prongs, but it has the sensor on the back. So instead of leaving marks in the wood, I can just set it there and it's going to penetrate a little bit deeper into the wood. Uh, the prongs will only go, right, it only read as, as deep as the prongs go. This will, will send a signal a little bit deeper into the wood. Uh, they also have this other unit, uh, similar, but it's got a bigger field here, right? So a little bit more accuracy. Again, great tool to give you that number. So all three of these, uh, all of their units are going to do basically the same things with just fluctuations. Obviously understand there's so many variables. The, the big idea with the moisture meter is you want to test uh, the moisture content and then give it some time. Give it a week, give it two weeks, test it again, and then just keep checking. And once that number's not changing, then then you know that you know it's, it's stabilized. You kind of know, okay, it's dry, it's ready. Um, where else would you need to do this? Well, um, I did some milling um, of some, some little small this isn't really much of a log but um some maple pieces so i've let it air dry outside you know stickered pretend to be like a you know a little urban miller and uh had some pieces inside so this one got pretty dry right it feels pretty dry i've been testing them like all right that's not changing so i can go outside check those pieces like oh those are still at like 16 percent uh this one's hanging out around 11 so i know i got a little bit ways to go so that's another great application um you know, if you're gonna find wood on Craigslist uh, or, you know, Facebook Marketplace classifieds, uh, like this piece, uh, got some Claro walnut, some, some other walnut. I didn't know if it was fully dry, if it was kiln dried. Uh, only way to be sure, again, test it out. Kind of see what's the moisture content. Is it ready uh, to be used for furniture? I know some people love it when they buy their hardwoods uh, from, from wherever their lumber yard is. They'll still test that. I don't go that, that far. Uh, I trust my lumber yard, but I mean, it doesn't take that much to, again, kind of gauge it based on other ones. Uh, where else would this be helpful? Uh, firewood. So we just got a load of uh, camp firewood. Uh, but if you're like heating your home with uh, wood, definitely would be a great idea to just test uh, how dry is this wood. Uh, also to make sure, hey, I paid for seasoned wood. Uh, I wanna make sure it is actually dry. Uh, again, there's a lot of variables with the moisture content, but it's a great tool to kind of uh, help out in that regard. So um, a lot of applications. Uh, this particular unit is, is one of their new ones. Again, they sent these to me uh, just to test out. This one's not too bad. I think it's like 20 to 30 bucks. Uh, you got the prongs, you got the sensor. Uh, it works for drywall as well. So if you think you have like a leak in your house, you can kind of test 
Um, so a great tool, uh, not, not too much of an investment, just to make sure, especially if you're gonna be doing stuff with two by fours or construction grade wood, uh, making sure that the wood is properly dried and uh, can save you some headache and can save you some time. So hopefully you learned something. Uh, if, if I made a, a glaring error you wanna add uh, to my own knowledge, I would love, uh, love the feedback. So let me know uh, if you got any tips uh, with these as well. So hopefully that helped. All right, take care guys.